up all ready for our bell ringer. How many beats does this note get and what is it called? I'll take raised hands. David, what do you think? Two. Eight. It gets two beats. Oh, can some, thank you for only answering one of the questions. Can somebody else help me with the other question? Mackenzie, what is this note called? This note is called half note. A half note. We know that for lots of reasons. Most of our music has how many beats per measure? One, four. Four, four, right? With our four, four time and we've talked about time signatures. So, half of four is how many? Two. 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 Which is another reason we call it a half note and it gets two beats. We're going to be using half notes to accompany ourselves using without you. Um, so let me pull that up. We're going to be doing lots of dif different instruments today. We're going to be able to do a big performance. Excellent work on your half note. Question? The only reason I remember is because um, I remember the dotted half note and then I know if you can learn The dot makes one less. That's fine that you remember the dotted half note over the half note. Well, whatever way you remember it is the way you remember it, right, sweetie? Okay, so this song. Did David get us sing this song? No. Some people think yes. No. Who thinks someone else was singing? You are absolutely right that other that somebody else was singing. So why is David Gatta the first person on here with a quiet raised hand? Who can tell me what you think David Gatta did for this song? What do you think? He wrote the song. He wrote the song and produced it. David Gatta, you can put your hands down is called a producer. He's the person who writes all of the music and some of the lyrics and other aspects of the song, but does not necessarily perform on it. Can anyone think of another music producer? So not necessarily someone you hear on the radio, um, but a producer. Can anyone think of a producer? Yeah, so what do you think? Eminem does produce a lot of his own music. He's produced hundreds of songs. And I just learned that not too long ago myself. Miss Gallagher is a lifetime learner as well, right? You are never too old to learn. Who else can think of another producer? Miley Cyrus. Miley Cyrus. Who thinks she probably writes her own music? Not me. I think Miley's got a couple producers on her payroll, but that's just my opinion. I'm not positive. She could definitely write some of her own music. It's possible. I'll take one more. Justin Bieber. Justin Bieber. Do we think he writes all of his own music? No. 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 He might write some of it. Sometimes you have something called co-producers. Can we have more than one producer on the same song? Absolutely. So, David Guetta is our producer for this song, Without You. A little background about David Guetta, since a lot of you don't know a lot about him. He was born in 1967. How old does that make him? <gasps> Math time. 2014 minus 19. 47. He's 57 years old. He's 44. 43. 44. 48. Should we do a little quick math? 43. 2000. 14. I think 43. Minus 1967. What do you think? Borrow. Borrow. He's like 60 something. Oh, someone said it. Finally. There, and a lot of people were close. 47 years old. He certainly does not look 47 to me. Hopefully, Ms. Gallagher ages just as gracefully. So, he is from France. So, he's not from America, but he's had a lot of success in America. Um, he's from France. He began his began his career as a DJ in nightclubs, which is still often what he does. Um, he's more of an electro electronic dance music person, or EDM they call it. That's one of the genres that's starting to be up and coming. Um, so that's what he does mostly. Um, he's worked with a ton of amazing artists. You can see just some of them down here. The Black Eyed Peas, Nicki Minaj, Ludacris, Tyo Cruz, and obviously Usher, who is the singer on our Without You. Oh, oh. Usher, there he is. He's our singer. He was born in 1978. Do we have to do this again? No. He's a little bit younger than David Gatt, right? He was born in Texas. But, do 
Do you know a lot of artists from Texas? No. no. Yeah. Not really, right? No. When you think about musicians, what are some places in America that come to mind? Raised hands, raised hands, please. Thank you. I, t I love raised hands. Who I haven't heard from today? Yeah, what do you think? Um, yeah. A place where music is booming. What do you think? Um, Binghamton. Oh, I know. Binghamton, I love it. Where else? New York City, absolutely, and a lot of other cities too. Um, Atlanta, Georgia is a huge hub for R&B music. R&B is its own genre of music that Usher is labeled the king of. Does anybody know what R&B stands for? Olivia? Rap and blues. Very close. She says rap and blues. So close. This is why we're talking about this song. What do you think, Naveen? She says rock and blue. She's so close. If I do this, what did I just give you? A B. Rap and rhythm. No, I mean rap and blue. You got it, sweetie. Tell me. Rhythm and blues. Excellent. Rhythm and blues. Very good. So Usher has sold over 65 million records and probably even more by this time. I got subscribers. He's one of the best selling um, artists of all time. So, we're going to make our own little rendition of Without You. Where do you see that bell ringer up on the board? Mackenzie, do you see it? Everywhere. Everywhere. We see half notes all over the place, which is why that was our bell ringer. Half notes get how many beats again? Put it Two. in the air. Two. Two. Excellent. So, what I'm going to do first is model for you on the glockenspiel this part that's written on the board. Again, it's in half notes, which we're reinforcing, and it gets two beats per. So you can see there, what notes does it tell you? And also, I'm sure that you can help me figure out what note this is by using one of our sayings. What do we say for the lines on the treble clef staff? Um, every, good every good boy deserves it. No, every good boy does fine. Every good boy does fine. You were totally right with saying every good boy deserves or french fries or whatever you want to say. I like every good burger deserves fries because I like to eat burgers and fries. So if we come up to this note, every good burger does, does or deserves, right? So we know that these are D's and they are in something called octaves, which means they're eight mm -hmm. notes away. If we count up our musical alphabet from D to D, let's see how many notes we get. D, E, F, G. What comes after G? A. A. A, B, C, D. Do you understand why we call them octaves? Octaves are eight notes apart. So we have D and D. So when we come over here, all of yours are labeled. So we don't really have to worry about figuring that out. We're going to hit both Ds for two beats, two measures. So a total of four half notes before we move up to E. e. Then we move back to D. And then we move up to a. a. So it's going to sound something like this. Three, four, move up to E. Two, three, four, back to D. Three, and then A. Does that make sense? Give me a nod if you got it. Yes, absolutely. Now, when I'm about to play my glockenspiel, do I put my mallet and hit it like this? No. Did that sound very nice? Bounce it off. You bounce it like a basketball. How much better does that sound? Way better. So much better. So there's the glockenspiel parts. After I show you all of the parts, we'll assign different sections of the room to be playing different instruments. So let's take a look at what our next instrument will be. Whoops. Skipping ahead. Boom whackers, my favorite, are so fun. For this one, we have which two notes? D and And this is my D. Where's my A? Purple. D and A. So, if you are one of the boom whacker people, Olivia, do you have a question? If you are selected for boom whackers, let's first talk a little bit about safety with our boom whackers. If there's a bunch of people with boom whackers, is it safe for me to go? No. That would hurt. Is it okay for me to hit myself with a boom whacker? No. Can anyone guess what this means for a tambourine? 
What do you think? It's, a roll. it's basically a roll. Basically like a roll, but on our tambourine, we can't really roll on it, so we're going to do what with that? Shake it. Shake, shake it. So this one, are these half notes? No. No, they're quarter notes. So how many beats do they get a piece? One. 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 So we're going to go shake, 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 hit. Shake, 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 hit. Shake, 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 hit. Can you tell me what this symbol is? A repeat symbol, which means we do it over and over and over again, right? So, tambourines will only be during the chorus, and we're going to get all of this down as we're kind of practicing in our groups first, and then we'll put it together at the end. Okay, so, can I please have boom whackers onto the floor? We cannot play our boom whackers in our feet. So I'm going to take you to the floor. Don't play them yet. Boom whackers, black caps need to be on the bottom. If we try to hit it this way, it's not going to make any sound. These are the caps we need. And let's put them all with our orange one over here. There you go, sweetie. Yep, switch them. Other way. Let's get all of our orange ones over here so we're synchronized. So can you switch your two? Beautiful. And we're going to practice the beginning part. Boom whackers start off the entire song. So, boom whackers, we have what rhythm first? Do you remember? Um, DNA half notes. Very good, Mackenzie. Here we go. Are you ready? Okay. So we would start one, two, and tambourines. I know it's hard to keep them quiet, so you're very best, okay? Let's start. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. There you go, Sweeney. One, two. Nice. And stop. Excellent. Excellent.